All right, so I bought this um, USB um, Bluetooth controlled um, plug that's supposed to be able to work with iOS, Android, and according to Amazon, they have an open uh, open source Python library. So um, the goal is to take this and use my Raspberry Pi 3's integrated Bluetooth to um, turn, be able to turn this on and off through Octoprint. So let's see if it works. All right, so this is a test. Let's uh, let's do the pairing. So we go to Bluetooth. Uh, I guess uh, the, this is it, pluggable. All right, it's connected. Allow it. Let's go to the app. And then, oh, there it is. On, off. All right, now let's see if we can play with some Python and get the Raspberry Pi to do it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is make sure our repositories are upgraded. So, and we do upgrade, update everything. All right, now let's install Bluetooth. So, All right, and now let's install Bluetooth for Python. So, all right, I'm gonna reboot it just to make sure that everything is set. All right, now that it's all set up, installed, and everything, we are going to look for our device. So, what we're gonna do is write HCI tool scan and that's basically going to scan for Bluetooth devices in my network well in the area and yeah we see that it is here this is my address so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and now uh, the people at Pluggable already made a script that will turn on and off the switch so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make a new directory for all my new scripts to control the printer. So, changing into the directory, and now I'm gonna download the script. The address is pastebin.com. All right, so it's downloaded. Let's uh, let's see it. Cool. So now I'm going to rename it to something that makes more sense. All right, so now we have this file. And now we should be able to turn it on. So let's do Python. And then our address. Oh, there it is. Now let's <laughs> let's turn it off since I had the the lamp off. There it is. It does take a little bit, but I mean, it works. All right. So, now that we have the Bluetooth working, we can go into Octoprint and make sure that we can switch it on and off from here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings. Well, log in of course. Settings and then the plugin manager. Now, we are going to want this particular type of plugin it is called system command editor. Okay? So we're going to want to install that. What we're going to do with it is this is going to allow us to run commands 
on our Raspberry Pi that we decide what it is and it's going to add a button over here in, in the system tray. Now we're going to need to restart it, so reboot it. All right, now that that is set, we're logged back in. Let's go to settings. Let's go to our command editor attachment. Okay, so you need to right click or command click or whatever if you're in a Mac. You're gonna do create a, I'm gonna create a divider because this is a separate thing. Also, um, this command editor tool didn't work very well for me in Safari, so I'm using Firefox here. Anyway, now create a command. And now let's call it um, boot printer. And now we're gonna do Python, and then we're gonna write the look the location of the script, right? And then the printer switch, and then the address, and then on, right? So confirm, and then let's copy all of this, and then let's add another one. Let's just paste this, and instead of on, we want off. Confirm, save. Now over here in our system tray, we have this. All right, now let's give it a shot with Octoprint. So let's go to system, boot printer, and then if all works right, we should get a confirmation and it should turn on. There you go. So success over here and the light turned on. Now let's turn it off. Shut down printer, and it's off. So there is a little bit of delay, but it works. So now all I need to do is disconnect this, connect this, which is my printer. All right, now we flip the switch on. Right, so now that's gonna stay like that, and then the moment of truth boot printer on. Three, two, one. The printer is on, ladies and gentlemen. Now let's connect. And we are connected and operational. All right, guys. Well, I hope this helped. Um, it's been it was really quick to set up as you get, as you guys can see. I mean, it was $30, so it's not too bad, but I think it's well worth it. So now you can have big prints and monitor them with the with the camera over here, and whenever they're done, you can turn it turn the printer off. So hope you guys hope this this is useful for you guys and see you guys later. Check out the description below for relevant links and important details. While you're down there, make sure to leave me all your comments, questions, or suggestions so I can keep making better content for you. Finally, make sure you click that thumbs up and share it with anybody that you think would be interested. And subscribe if you haven't done so yet. You can click over here for other videos and playlists that you might find interesting. See you next time.